hello friends welcome you all to another video and today we are going to start with the new story which was written by Bernard Malamud and the title of this story is the refugee and you can see the subtitle of this story that is I thought I knew his story but there was some okay so the refugee actually set in the before the first world war when the Hitler Adolf Hitler was uh, criticizing uh, Jewish people and he was blaming that because of the Jew people Germany was defeated in first world war and therefore he has a lot of hatred about the Jew people and he was banishing them he was punishing them and you can see a lot of uh, uh, information regarding how uh, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi soldiers they have killed so many Jews and uh, they have exploited and oppressed so many Jews uh, in during those days so this story is about that the refugee you know that the refugee was one movie actually it was the first uh, debut movie of uh, Avishay Bachchan and uh, Karina Kapoor and uh, there was a song uh, Panchi Nadia Okay, so when you cross the border, you became refugee of that certain uh, certain country. So let's talk about the first about the author in a brief, and then we are going to start our story. So uh, in this story, there are only two character. One is the Oscar Gassner and uh, the narrator or the speaker of this story. Okay. So before that, let me talk about the author of the story, Bernard Malamud. He won a National Book Award in 1959 for his volume of short stories, The Magic Bearer. The Refugee is part of a new collection, Idiot First, which Farrer starts will publish next month. Mr. Malamud is also the author of three novels. There seems to be no writer of his background, comments critic Alfred Kazin, who makes one feel so keenly the enigmatic quality of life. So, here is the only two characters. One is, uh, as I told you, the Grasner is there and the last one is the narrator itself. So let me show you uh, the name of the So the another name, uh, the another character that is the Martin Goldberg. The Martin Goldberg who is the speaker of this story. Uh, he's telling us the Gassner story and uh, it is a bigger story. Uh, it is not a small like a, which we have seen. Uh, Amitans two kinds. Okay, so let's start uh, with the story. I just want to little bit uh, uh, make it clear so that you can easily see the lines okay so now I'm reading and then I'm going to explain it so Oscar Gassner sit in his cotton mesh undershirt and summer bathrobe at the window of a stiffy hot dark hotel room on West 10th Street while I cautiously knock okay here actually the speaker has uh, gone to meet Oscar Gassner because Oscar Gassner warned that he want to learn English because he was a German but he was a Jew and he has to let uh, his wife, his house, everything, his business from Germany and he has to come there and here he got a job in university and there uh, he wanted a tutor who can teach him English. Okay, so here 
the speaker has arrived there and then speaker is uh, telling us about uh, his condition his physical condition that uh, what kind of a shirt he has over and uh, what was there okay outside across the sky a late june green twilights fades in darkness the refugee fumbles for the light and stares at me hiding despair but not pain okay so outside according the class he just talking about it was a late june green twilight fades in darkness it was a evening time okay and the refugee actually he was fumbling in the light and he was looking at him and he was actually hiding despair but actually the pain was there on his face and the speaker can easily understand the pain on his face i was in those days a poor student now the now the speaker is talking about himself hmm. I was in those days a poor student and would brashly attempt to teach anybody anything for a buck and hour. Although I have since learned better, mostly I gave English lesson to recently arrived refugees. So actually, uh, this uh, this student, the speaker was a very poor student, and uh, therefore he wanted to earn money because he was a poor, and therefore he was uh, teaching. Uh, English to a lot of refugees in those days and in this way he was uh, getting money and here uh, he also cleared that he was giving English lesson to the uh, recently arrived refugees the college sent me I had acquired a little experience so actually he got the permission from the college to deliver the English lesson to uh, refugees and in this way he got a little experience uh, <coughs> of the teaching already a few of my students were trying their broken english there and mine in the american marketplace so already uh, so many students they are talking in broken english uh, and okay so he described like that i was then just 20 so the he was the speaker was just uh, 20 years old on my way into my senior year in college, a skinny, life-hungry kid, eating himself, waiting for the next world war to start. And he was uh, waiting for, because uh, you know that the second world war is coming. And uh, uh, there was a chance that the world war will start any time. And he was waiting to that, because it was a government cheat. Here I was uh, palpating to get going, and across the ocean at a Hitler, in the black boots and a square mustache, was tearing up all the flowers will i ever forget what went on with dancing that summer so he was uh, you know that he was palpating so what is uh, how much he will get money because uh, because of the world war the chances of the world war a lot of people are coming to united states of america and he was getting a job to teach them english and he was earning money so therefore he was hoping that the world war should be there because he wanted to live he wanted to get money he wanted to to study and and at the germany uh, you know that the adolf hitler was uh, you know that he was described uh, his he has a black boots and he has a queer mustache and how he was tearing the flowers okay all these things times were still hard for from the depression but anyway i made a little living from the poor refugees so here he said that whatever the time was there but he was earning money from the refugees those were poor refugees they were all over uptown broadway in 1939 so it was just uh, before the world war second before the beginning of the world war second because you know that the world war second started in 1939 so it was uh, before some months or maybe the story starts and a lot of refugees they uh, actually they settled at the broadway near the new york city i had four eye tutor so he said he uh, speaker is giving us information that uh, he taught english to four people <coughs> one is a car auto elf the former film star in germany he was a german film star but he was a jew and therefore he has uh, to leave germany he has to leave germany and he has to come to the united states of america the second one was Wolfgang Noack, uh, who was a, once a brilliant economist so economist person he has also come there that is will uh, from Noack. And the third one is the Frederick William Ulf, who had taught medical history at Heidelberg. So Heidelberg uh, was one of the city in Germany. And after that night, I met him in his discarded chief hotel room 
Oscar Gassner. So Oscar Gassner was his fourth uh, student, the Berlin critic and journalist. So Oscar uh, Gassner was a Berlin critic and he was a journalist so and uh, at one time on the art i've done that was the actually name of that journal uh, who, uh, he was a critic and journalist and he was working for this magazine or this newspaper there were accomplished men i had a nerve associating with them but that is what a world crisis does for people they get educated okay so he has some now now because he was fearing to meet this kind of people um, but what he can do everybody wanted to get educated and they these people they actually they are fighting because they have left their life they have left their uh, families they have left uh, everything their property their homes uh, their everything and they are coming to the entirely new world new language a new culture okay everything is different and uh, they they have to come there they have to settle there and they have to learn english language because without english they cannot survive in united states of america so that was the thing now the speaker is talking about the age of the oscar and you can see now i'm reading oscar was maybe 50 years old so he was just 50 years old his thick hair turning gray okay he was a very thick hair and it was um, turning gray. He had a big face and heavy hands. He has a very big face. Okay, very heavy hands. And his shoulders sagged. His eyes too were heavy, a clouded blue. And as he stared at me after I had identified myself, doubt spread in them like underwater currents. So when he looked at uh, the speaker, so there was a doubt in his eyes. It was as if on seeing me, he had again been defeated so when he looked at it so he was defeated that uh, you know that uh, he has a very less money and he cannot spend uh, more money to hire a very great teacher so when he saw the student and the speaker who is just 20 years old and therefore he was defeated that how could uh, that student can teach him english so that was the thing uh, the speaker has uh, watched in his eyes It was as if on seeing me, he had again been defeated. I stayed at the door in silence. In such cases, I would rather be elsewhere, but I had to make a living. Finally, he opened the door and I entered. Rather, he released it and I was in. <laughs> so here, he was staying outside and finally, then he opened the door and uh, the speaker entered in his room and he offered uh, me a seat and i didn't know where to sit himself he would attempt to say something and then stop as though it could not possibly he said so he tried to make uh, some kind of gesture and he was telling the uh, speaker that he should uh, sit somewhere uh, but actually the speaker is wondering that where he should uh, sit and uh, Again, uh, the Gassner wanted to say something, but uh, he can't speak in English, so he stopped to speak English. So, hey guys, uh, uh, we have completed uh, two uh, paragraphs uh, of this story, and uh, tomorrow we are going to go further. So, this is the, so thank you for watching, and if you have any kind of queries, you can ask me anytime. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next.